I am Hitesh Sivani. I secured All India rank of 16 in Chemical Engineering in GATE 2018. I have been getting quite a few messages <coughs> regarding the preparation trips and the strategies <coughs> which I used during my preparation. So I thought to make a little video about it uh, to, uh, to share my strategy that uh, I used to secure All India rank of 16 in 60 days. So let's get started. So first and the most important point is I do not recommend to prepare for GATE in the last two months. So according to me the ideal time would be to prepare prior to six months that is you should start your preparation during July and the exam would be in February. So but still you can still follow the strategy which I am going to share with you and uh, hope for the best. The first point is Study according to the syllabus. Go to the GATE 2020 website, download the syllabus for the GATE 2020 Chemical Engineering and preferably print it. You print it. And as you study along, stick to the syllabus and strike down the topics which you complete with a pencil. Uh, I made a mistake. I didn't, I didn't study according to the syllabus. And ultimately I ended up studying like out of the syllabus topics. So I don't want you to go through this. So first point is go to the website, download the syllabus. Okay. So before going to the second point, uh, I will tell you more about GATE examination. So there are two sections. One is general aptitude. Second is technical section. So in this video, I would be covering only technical section. Okay. So. Let's go to the second point. Now, the second point is how to go through the literature, like how to study. So, the uh, first point in reading through the content is uh, pick up, pick any subject you like, then take your class notes and read through them. Now, don't worry, however bad class notes you have, whatever they are, either they are photo stated or there are no notes at all. Just go through your class notes, which have been taught in your B.Tech. Don't worry. It will just initiate your process of starting, like your initiate the process of uh, your preparation, right? So just go through them and uh, it will just refresh up your memory, what you, what has been taught in your class, right? Now, after reading through your class notes of that particular subject go pick some coaching notes and then start reading that chapter from your that coaching notes i picked the gate coach note so pick a good coaching and uh, uh, mine were handed in classroom notes of some student so there were mistakes so use those notes very carefully and at your own discretion and uh, yeah so go through that the, those notes. Now, while going through your notes, here comes the most important tip of this video is make your own notes. <clears throat> Whatever you're reading, make your own notes. You have to make your own notes. It will serve two purposes. First, uh, while you're reading and uh, while you're writing what you are reading, you will process that information in your brain, what you are writing. So it will help you retain in your memory. Second, while you are revising at the end of your preparation, it will be extremely helpful that if you have your own notes. So make your own notes. It, you have to make your own notes and uh, like it should serve the purpose of revising at the end. So you should make them in that manner. Okay. So the next step would be uh, you're done with your notes. Now, there will be some topics you didn't understand from the notes, which you were unable to grasp. So, what you can do is, now you turn on to books, study those topics. You can use NPTEL videos as well and whatever resource suits you. Now, refer those from there. Okay, so your uh, literature part is somewhat done. Now, what you do is, the next step is, uh, take uh, previous year questions, subjective questions, 
that is the questions before the year 2000 now most people make mistakes that by thinking that uh, subjective questions are useless but they're not they are real concept builders you have to solve them and uh, yes uh, one mention uh, keep your prime focus on the previous year questions of gate i will explain it why uh, in the later part of the video so yes back to the main point so start solving the subjective questions before the year 2000 now there will be few questions which you will come across and you will find that this concept is new so like identify those parts which you are weak in or you didn't read during your reading phase identify them reread them and then practice them this is the cycle you have to repeat identify re-repeat uh, you have to repeat them reread them and then practice them so a good recommendation to solve subjective questions is msubu uh, you can google it msubu uh, free pdf you can get free pdf online just google it you will get it so uh, now after repeating the identify repeat and practice uh, cycle now start solving the objective questions objective previous year questions which are from the year 2000 to 2013 uh, let's keep it to 2012 so now you have to solve the questions from year 2000 to 2012 <clears throat> i will explain why so uh, first a good resource for these types of questions would be unit operation unitoperation.com is a website which provides you previous year questions bifurcated year wise and subject wise it's a very good resource very popular one just go check out a bit costly though but yes so practice previous year questions from year 2000 to 2012 only and uh, do not touch uh, the previous year questions from year 2013 to 2019 while solving the objective questions from year 2000 to 2012 you will come across few questions you will realize that you didn't read the concept the concept is new and uh, or maybe the concept used in that question is your weak part so these two possibilities are there so what you have to do that you have to identify those areas okay reread them and practice them so basically you are fixing your weak areas you are making a patch right so <clears throat> it will act like that now that you are done with your objective questions till 2012 year 2012 now you're free to practice other resources uh, a good recommendation from my side would be a book authored by mr ram prasad it's a very good book if you have i for, I didn't find time to solve during my preparation but if you have some time go for it it's a good resource and uh, you can also start practicing subject wise um, tests from a test series which you might have purchased a uh, few test series available are the gate coach EII the gate forum uh, in my view none of the test series in India are good for chemical engineering but I think the gate coach and EII are okay. Okay, you can purchase them. I will talk about test series later in the video. One point to mention <clears throat> while you are practicing through test series questions, uh, if you find any difficulty, just don't leave them in between. Try to solve them. Uh, if you are not able to solve them, ask other people to help you. Just don't leave it. Right? Okay. So, uh, the same cycle you have to repeat identify reread and practice right so when you are done with one subject with this whole thing which we just discussed repeat the same cycle with other subjects and complete your syllabus and once you complete your syllabus start giving full length tests preferably in a time slot in which you originally going to undertake your gate examination my examination was between 2 to 5 pm 
my slot was that so i was a bit worried that what if i felt a bit sleepy and what if i couldn't give my 100% so i started training my brain that to work efficiently most efficient during the part of the day most efficiently during that part of the day like between 2 to 5 pm so i start giving full length test especially between 2 to 5 now about full length test you have two approaches either you can give full length test from the test series which you have bought other thing is what you can do you remember i uh, told you not to practice from year 2013 to 2019 now we are going to use them as a full length test you give them test diligently assess your performance and see where are you standing now it will serve you with a very important purpose you can rate your performance you can see if you were undertaking if you were taking that exam get exam in that year for example 2013 what rank you might have get there are score analysis and uh, uh, marks to rank uh, stats given on net on quora you can go check so you can assess your performance so we are going to use the questions which we left earlier from year 2013 to 2019 as to rate our performance again you can use unitoperation.com to give the full length tests from year 2013 to 2019 time for some pro tips this is the most important part of the video so let's get started pro tip number 1 cover your syllabus fully see uh, in gate examination <clears throat> you will find Uh, one marks uh, conceptual questions uh, which you will mark like you don't need to solve anything it will conceptual if you know the concept you will just mark it it's as simple as that full marks for that but <clears throat> it will come from any topic from any subject so you have to cover your syllabus fully right to score if you want if you are targeting a very good rank you have to fully complete your syllabus second pro tip is like while you are uh, solving the test series and if you are not performing well just don't get disheartened because <clears throat> in my opinion there is no proper test series for chemical engineering in india so if you perform if you underperform don't take pressure just read it practice and keep identifying your weak areas and keep patching them this is the thing third pro tip practice previous year questions like hell <clears throat> it should be on your tips you have to keep revise them regularly previous year questions <clears throat> are the most important part of your preparation because gate has a nasty habit of repeating the previous year questions uh like you can identify it yourself that sometimes they don't even change the question not even the uh, the options which they are giving so <clears throat> it will give you like a very good boost if you have previous questions on your tips it will just improve your rank very well so practice previous year questions very well problem number 4 <clears throat> see in gate they provide you their own calculator which will be embedded <clears throat> in the interface and uh, that calculator is different <clears throat> from what we are used to use right so what you do is go to play store download any gate calculator app and start using it from today whatever calculation you are doing whatever while preparing just start using it <clears throat> just don't lie to yourself that you will start using it tomorrow or you will do it during the examination no you have to force yourself to use that from today and uh, the reason why i'm like imposing this on you <clears throat> is that because you can save not seconds minutes if you are efficiently using the calculator there are many functions in that and you have to be like well versed with those functions so for that start using it from today in your daily life until you get examination and you will do it and finally pro tip number 
keep revising now i can summarize whatever i told you in the whole video as the following <clears throat> first study according to the syllabus download the syllabus from the gate 2020 website and study according to it second study through some reliable coaching institutes notes and then hop to books and npdel videos for the topics which you are unable to understand from the notes third solve previous year subjective questions that is the questions before year 2000 identify your weak points or the areas which you didn't study during your reading phase and then <clears throat> fix them patch them fourth solve the previous year objective questions that is the questions from year 2000 to 2012 only and don't forget to identify the weak points again study again fix the weak points for the objective questions which you just studied fifth start solving other resources you can use mr ram prasad's book or you can use the test series sixth start giving full length tests during the slot on which you are having your original gate examination you can use test series and you have to use the questions from year 2013 to 2019 use them as a full length test and assess your performance and rate yourself that if you were going to take the exam in that year how much you have scored how much rank you might have secured and keep improving on that basis and in the end stay calm and keep revising